So how can I help you? With my experience, I've learned I don't have to know everything to know something. I don't have to be able to do everything to be able to do something. I'm quite a bit of an all-rounder, mother of five children, former data assistant in the Division of Nuclear Security at the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, former voluntary photographer for women in nuclear, still an active participant of women in nuclear, former president of the VIC Toastmasters Club, former area director of Area F2 in District 109, Division F of Toastmasters International here in Austria, still an active Toastmaster at the VIC, the United Nations in Vienna, former NGO representative of the Women's Federation for World Peace International at the VIC, United Nations headquarters in Vienna, representing Women's Federation for World Peace in the Committee on the Status of Women, the Peace Committee, Committee on Aging, the Space Committee, the Committee on Narcotic Drugs and the Crime Alliance, former Secretary of the VNOGC, the Vienna NGO Committee on the for Narcotic Drugs, former, 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 all the things I've done, not all the things, some of the things I've done, but what do I want to do now? Actually, I was going to make an educational video for some of my colleagues on the Google Drive because we've started started finally using the Google Drive to share our documents and I recognize there's a need to learn how to get around these things and then there's the YouTube channel and the Gmail account and all of the implications and I've just attended a women in nuclear meeting on creating and then work environment that matters. It was a very, very interesting, inspiring meeting, promoting intergenerational cooperation, in particular to support young women in entering and successfully progressing through their professional lives in the nuclear workforce. I could tell you all the things that I'm not and all the ways that I've failed. That's not what I'm here to do because there's so much more that we are than that we are not. And when we learn to focus on what we want and what we have and what we can, then all those other things that we haven't, that we can't, that we don't, that we won't, are totally irrelevant because we can support each other and help each other. This video was going to be titled, How Can I Help You? It's the way I'm working through what I can do. And what did I just do? Before this meeting with you, I went on to Zoom international to zoom account in internet google look zoom.us and they have so many free webinars and other ed educational tools and there's a whole section on virtual backgrounds and there are a few links on where you can go and collect a few virtual backgrounds you can get photographs for a virtual background from all over the place now i just downloaded this one because I haven't found the right one that I really want to keep with, but I wanted to show you what's possible. Now, I'm actually living on the first floor in an apartment 
and the window is facing me so you won't see up my window but actually in my background I've got a lot of There's a lot of folders, a lot of folders. I am an office person through and through. And rather than that as my virtual background, I've decided, okay, for now, I'm going to, if I can still find it, have this office background. Another one that I like to use is actually from photos of my holiday, my dream holiday in Queensland, of this crocodile beach in Northern Queensland. Joseph and I spent a week in Northern Queensland. It was five years ago. And walking barefoot in the sand there and swimming in the ocean was quite my dream holiday. But my topic right now is office. So I'm in my office, in my home office, because I work from home in any case. I was working from home before we were forced to work from home. So what I actually wanted to show you was how to access your Google Drive if you have one or a shared Google Drive if you've been given access to one. And in particular, I'm talking about a particular meeting. Now, I guess I should have written down the particular points that I wanted to tell you about. Because once you've done it a few times, you'll just remember these things anyhow. But you may need to be shown at first until you get the hang of it. And what I found most useful was when I discovered that by, when I simply go into my browser, I can select the drive and go there. So I'll share with you my screen and let's see how that goes because that's always a challenge on Zoom right now, isn't it? So I'm going to share screen number one. Okay. So I'm just closing a few files. Okay, so screen number one. And I'll just make sure that I've got a Google open there. And now I've lost my Zoom. Okay, here I am. So let's see what happens now. I've changed the screen a bit, but I'll click on screen number one, share my screen, and I don't see what you see, but I believe that you now see my, my Google screen. Now, my browser is Google, and here I have a Gmail account, even though I typically use a, an Outlook account for my email in German for care uh, communication. Now here, when you click on these nine dots, the Google Apps, I have put this on the top. It was actually down here somewhere. And I have moved it to the top because the Google Drive is something that I'm using much more of lately. So when I click on the Google Drive, it opens my Google Drive and tells me that I've already used 81% of my storage because all of my photos, all of my emails over the last quite a long time, many, many years, are counted in this storage. And I've used up 12.18 gigabytes of my 15 gigabyte free allowance. So what I wanted to show with you, I created a folder for the Women's Federation in my Google Drive and when I click here shared with me I'll show you a folder that I that was created for a conference that I helped work on so this was a conference that took place on the 4th of June and it was created by our Korean counterpart so these are all 
the Google folders that are shared with me over the years. You can see going back a bit. Okay, so I double click on there to open this folder and this icon here shows me that the folder has been shared and these are the folders, the subfolders that are in this folder. And these are just files that are in this folder. Now we had a conference with a number of sessions and a number of countries participating and I created the admin folder because I was a co-host of that Zoom webinar. So you can see I created this folder that makes me the owner of this folder. And the last time anybody did anything here was the 27th of May. So I'm going to open that up. And actually it's not the last time anybody did anything. I was going to, I wanted to check that. That's why I said it like that. The last modification here, you can actually sort to see what the last modification was in descending or ascending order. So here you can see that the last item that was changed in this admin folder was the bios text for chat modified by me on the 14th of June, whatever for. Our meeting took place on the 5th, on the 4th of June. And what I did, I actually took another folder, another file, which was also here and copied it into the bios text. It was actually a link to a video that we showed only a fraction of during that conference. And during the meeting, I show, showed a link to the 30 minute video of the little angels in North Korea, which I pasted into the chat of that meeting. And I included that in this text document and deleted the other one because it was just the one line link to that item. Can you tell I'm a data assistant? I like to clean up the data. Trouble is, life happens, right? <laughs> We had the meeting. There were last minute changes. I mean, I'm telling you, last minute, the speakers changed this updated program and logos and all of the other files in this whole folder. Many of them are not correct, are not current, because we literally had last minute changes. Yet, I was working on the final edited video, which, thank you, Victor. Victor made available for us because what he did, he edited in the English translation of the Korean audio onto the video file, which I then uploaded to our Women's Federation YouTube channel. And this file is here, but you can find it on YouTube under the Women's Federation YouTube channel, Women's Federation Europe, WFWP Europe. So how can I help you? I've got lots of things I could tell you. I don't want to overwhelm you. I want to show you that you can learn all of these things by clicking into Google, do a search, and you'll find a YouTube video. And what I'm thinking about doing is creating YouTube videos, educational videos, to help you to understand how you too can overcome your fear of YouTube, of Gmail, of Google, of Zoom, of SharePoint, of all of these modern digital native terrors, which may be intimidating initially, but like life, are just a matter of jumping in and learning by doing. I think that's enough for a starter. I'll stop here and see what I want to do next, or if I get any feedback, what do you want me to do next? The question is still, 
how can I help you?